Hello guys again. I've got this digital multimeter. Well, it is a model TD830B. It caught my attention on eBay and the only reason is that it cost only 1.5 euros and well what is 1.5 euros? Nothing in these days now. Well, it's that is an, another matter. Well, <laughs> let's go on. And I will want to share my opinion to see how it works, um, how it looks inside, because I want to disassemble it to see if it's worth to give 1.5 euros again, or if it is safe enough to use it for your everyday work, whatever you're doing, whatever is your job. Of course, either you must be an electrician or electronic guy or for your DIY projects in your house. Okay, I see one, two, here, no, nothing. OC, pass it, okay. Well, it's this, pass it, this OC. I'm very happy. Two screws, well, I'm just opening to see, yes, it's working. And it has a, f okay. 9 volt battery inside. Let's then take that out because I don't want to destroy anything. It's very fragile. 9 volt battery, great shell. Okay, this is a great shell, guys. Yeah, super heavy duty. Heavy, heavy duty. Made in China, of course. Oh my god. Made in China on 2013. Oh, and it's still alive, 2013, and we have 2019, it's about five to six years. Nine volts, 320 milliamps, ohms to HDD, 5.4 volts, great, greatcell.com.cn. Well, Google it to see what it is. Well, let's move on. Here we are, have the connection for the battery. We have another one, two, three screws. Well, one, two, three screws, but this is soldering with a screw. We have this metal that is a little bit rusty. Four screws, I'm sorry. Cables that not so good. <laughs> Let's open it. The screws are rusted a little bit. I'm going to show you where I'm going to take out all of them. Oh, nice, it's getting out. And I was worried because I was solder. Wait. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. See the screws are rusted. 1.5 euros, guys. Yeah. Okay, we get this metal here. Okay, nice. I get the idea. Okay, that is all about. One, two, three metals. A little bit rusty, and this is all the circuit that you can manage to work this board. And it's been connected. It, this is a two different boards and it's been connected with solder. This is the brain, I suppose. Ah. And a little bit. Uh, yeah, that is all about. And yes, it is the model DT8. Okay. Oh. Here is the screen. It reminds me a little bit of an old technology screen. Oh, what is this? Uh, oh, yes, this is for... Yep. Here. Don't fall out. 
Because you're not going to walk probably. Okay. And I'm going to assemble it and turn it on again. This, you understand, is meeting the point where it connects the screen. Okay. Yeah, it's working. Let's install our lovely and beautiful precious screws. Oh, what do you expect for 1.5 euros? Whatever, nice. Okay, let's give him some power. Plastic. Mm, it feels strong. He has this plastic that is pushing all the way down. Oh, let's turn it on. It's working. Well, let's find a battery. We have 20, don't need more. Let's test it. Give us 4.1. 3.36. This is the bigger battery. It will give us 8.16. Well, this is the measurement for that. Well, I have another digital. Multimeter. You can see the unboxing and testing of this one right in the corner, but the only reason that I'm using now is to see if there is the measurement right with that. Okay, the same. If you remember, with this battery it was 8.16. Here we got 8.15. Okay, it's very close enough. With this, if I remember, was 4.1, let's count it again, 4.1, the same, okay, again, the other was 3.36, and with that, 3.36, oh, very good. Well, Illusion is he has a bad, very bad, bad manufacturer inside, and he saw us very right the all the measurements comparing with my other multimeter. Well, 1.5 euros, yeah, why not buy it? But don't use it to have electricity, 220 volts, 110. Just use it for the batteries. I I don't trust it. I, well, with that all, that was the end of uh, this video and thank you for watching this lovely testing, uh, disassemble and reviewing of my digital multimeter. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like or dislike my video is your choice, but definitely hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.